wait, 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 wait. I think they forgot one. In the category of best portrayal of Texas by New Mexico, the winner is, so nervous. News of the world. You can't have her, and I'm taking her home. Have you seen that Oscar-nominated Tom Hanks movie that's supposed to be set in our state? Where it is, she's that captive out of Wichita Falls. But it's obviously not in our state. The Dallas area never looked like that. Like most productions, it was not made here. So let's talk about movie candy. Mmm, except not that kind. The kind where you sweeten the deal to bring productions here. Those rebates work. The state of Texas officially acknowledges that. In fact, for every dollar movie makers are given, they spend five. Problem is, Texas hasn't been funding those incentives the way that Georgia, New Mexico, and Louisiana have been. I mean, Texas brags that filmmakers spent $1.66 billion here over 13 years. Meantime, in Georgia, movie makers spent $2.9 billion in just one year. A credit, by the way, to documentary filmmaker and UT professor Paul Steckler, who recently made this case in an article telling lawmakers the Texas film industry needs their help. And there is a proposal in the legislature right now to offer more incentives to bring more productions here. But enough about where movies are made, where are we going to watch them is the question. Plano-based Cinemark is the third largest movie theater chain in the country. In 2019, its revenues topped $3 billion. But in 2020, the pandemic slashed that to just $686 million. Now, almost all of Cinemark's theaters are back open again, but recently, about a quarter of its business was still private watch parties where a group rents out the whole theater. And the company is now spending an extra five to six million dollars per month on anti-COVID measures to try to get us all okay with getting back into these seats and sitting next to other people. I've got more info at Jason Wheeler TV on Facebook and Twitter, where we always cut to the chase and get right on the money.